Today I'm going to show you how to create a gallery page on your format website. Gallery pages are great for adding feeds of images and embedded videos to your portfolio. To create a gallery page, go to the Pages tab on the left-hand sidebar. Press Create, then Gallery Page. Give your gallery a name. Whatever name you add will be the title of the page in your site menu or page links. You can always edit this name later. Once you're in the Gallery Page Editor, click Add Icon to see the different types of elements you can add to your page, like images for JPEGs, PNGs, or animated GIF files, video embeds from YouTube or Vimeo, and text elements. Text elements can be used to add in longer sections of text within the feed of your page. Header text will appear at the top of the page on a vertical feed, or at the beginning of a scroll on a horizontal feed. Lastly, header images which would have the same placement as a header text, but would take the form of an image. If I choose to add an image, I will get this image uploader screen. Here I can choose to upload from my computer, import from a Dropbox folder, import from Format's Lightroom plugin, or import from an existing page. I am going to choose to import from an existing page. This will allow me to grab an image from any other page on my website or from my internal storage folders. Once I have my images uploaded to my page, I have lots of controls and options. You can drag and drop elements into any order that you want them to appear. When you hover over an image, you can also see the option to add a caption. This is a great place to add a description to your image like title, date, and medium of your artwork, or any other details that offer context to your audience for that particular image. Depending on your theme, these captions will appear below the image, as a hover over, or in lightbox view. You will also see the option to add meta tags to your images. This is SEO information connected to your image. For more information on writing SEO descriptions for your images or pages, please see our SEO guide. You can also delete an image using the garbage can icon. If I add a text element to my page, this will create a text dialog box in my feed. This is great for longer sections of text like artist statements or project descriptions. You can then drag and drop this text box anywhere within your feed. Text elements will take up the same amount of space as a gallery element within your feed. When you are happy with your feed, press Save Changes and you'll be presented with the option to add this page to your site menu or not. Adding a page to your site menu will mean that it will be added to your main navigation. If you aren't ready for the step yet, not to worry, you can add pages to your site menu at any time. You can also use the Edit Design button to open up the design variables for your gallery page. Go to Theme, and under the Theme options for a gallery page, you'll see the option to adjust your gallery layout. These will vary from theme to theme. If you'd like to try out another theme for a different gallery style, you can preview different themes and their layout options before saving to your site. All of your images and content will be auto-formatted to the new theme. For more information about gallery pages, previewing themes, and more, visit format.com help for a library of help articles or reach out to our customer experience team by emailing info at format.com or click on the chat icon for our 24-7 live support. Thank you for choosing Format.